From the immortal pen of James Fenimore Cooper came stirring tales of the early American frontier, when freedom-loving pioneers were carving a new nation out of an unknown, savage, and untamed wilderness. Stories of those exciting days and of the courage, daring, and devotion of men like Hawkeye, the first of the Long Rifles, and his tribal brother, Chingachgook, the last of the Mohicans. I was on my way to Fort McKenzie to meet you. I come from Fort. They speak your name. Oh, what for? Oh, uh, they know I am brother of Hawkeye. They say find him. They want to speak words. I wonder what about. I don't know. Head soldier, Colonel Courtney, he say, I want to meet this man Hawkeye who is not soldier. Well, I suppose I should consider it an honor, but it probably means trouble. It is, I admit, a singular thing for a military man to appeal to a citizen for help. And yet your help I do need. You know the chief of the Iroquois tribe, Thundercloud? Yes, I know him. And he trusts you? I think so. There have been killings of Indian braves up and down the frontier. The latest occurred only two days ago. Lieutenant Smith brought the report of it. He and his patrol were returning to this outpost when two of his men came unexpectedly upon the bodies of two Indian braves. They had been killed by rifle fire. Where did your men find these bodies, Lieutenant? Bullfrog Meadow, just directly east of the old military road. Now that's near the new settlement, Ainsley. Yes. Lieutenant Smith's two brothers have farmland at Ainsley. The lieutenant had stopped to visit his brothers. It was after he rejoined his patrol that the bodies of the Iroquois braves were discovered. Colonel, the other killings of Iroquois that you mentioned. The first incident occurred here at Georgetown. That's here. The other, before this last one, by this lake section, right here. It certainly looks as though someone has a vengeance against the Iroquois. There have been other encounters all along the frontier. Indians killing white settlers. The Huron, the Mohawk. The point is this. The Iroquois have indicated that they plan retaliation on a wide scale. 
Well, maybe you should get word to Thundercloud that you're going to try and hunt down the white men responsible. Oh, I've tried, I've tried. My first man was sent back. My second, a sergeant, was gravely wounded. So you want us to go to Thundercloud's camp, is that it, Colonel? I can't command you. You're a private citizen. Well, what's your message? I promise there will be no more wanton killings. I guarantee peace and security for him, his land, his people. I will hunt the killers of his Indian braves. We'll try to deliver your message, Colonel. Thanks. Return early. And good luck go with you. I think that Lieutenant Smith's not like us. You noticed that too, huh? Why, I wonder. Your guess is as good as mine. It's funny all those killings are in the vicinity of Ainsley. I'd like to know more about that Lieutenant Smith's brothers. We go find out now? Yeah, it's not too far out of the way. Yes, sir. Now that Lieutenant Smith's a right bright young man. Just transferred to Fort Mackenzie. Only just recent, they tell me. That's what he told me when I talked to him at the fort. Them two brothers of his, they've been farming here only a year now. Tight mouthed men they is. Keep to themselves. Like they was brooding about things. No wives or other kin? No, sir. I do hear. Feller passing through Ainsley seen him, and he casually told me. He told me they is bitter people. He said the father and mother, they was killed by Indians a long time before. By Iroquois? That's what the fella told me. Them two brothers, they never talk. Tight mouth, like I said. Well, thanks a lot. We've got to be traveling on. so close to the truth, and yet you can't Lieutenant quite... Smith know more than he tell about Iroquois dead. He knows something, or he's covering up for somebody. trail's up ahead. I can see it. Me and Iroquois moved camp. Yeah, we should reach there by noon tomorrow. That was too close for comfort. Iroquois not want to kill. Give warning. Yeah, that's the way I figure it. Warning means stay off of Iroquois land. Not want to kill. We're going anyway. Next time, many arrows. No warning. Well, that's the chance we take. We knew that when we started. I'll try to talk to him. You, Mohican? Chingachgook. And 
white man. Hawkeye. This Iroquois country, why you come here? We seek your great chief. I wish to speak to him. You come with rifle. I come in friendship. Hawkeye is friend of all red men. Hawkeye speak for Hawkeye. I am a friend of Thundercloud. We do not come with evil in our hearts. We wish to speak of friendship between white man and red man. Come. I've heard promises before. One, two, maybe three white man keep. Others burn up, go on wind, bad. Now you come. You say, chief soldier at fort, ask me believe. Why should I believe again? I'm not afraid to tell Thundercloud, chief of the Iroquois, that he does not speak with honest words. Because few white men break word does not mean that white chief is without honor. You speak good, but words, they mean one thing to white man, different thing to Indian. We must have trust. Thundercloud gives his word, we give ours. If I give word, I keep. We give word, we keep. What does great soldier want? He wishes that Thundercloud and he be good friends. If I give promise, he keep peace with Iroquois? He will keep peace with the Iroquois. He asked me to give you this oath. Want your oath. I give it. If more trouble comes my people, my braves, they want war. We will return with this word. There's no reason why our word should be betrayed. No reason at all, Colonel, except one. And what's that? Hate. I don't understand. Man's hate, hate for the Indian. Hate that would drive a man to murder. I still don't understand quite. How long has Lieutenant Smith been here? Not quite four months. He applied for a transfer to this fort. After I'd seen his exemplary record, I was very pleased to have him. I've quite grown to like the boy. Oh, of course, he has his dislikes and prejudices. But who among us has not? I knew his father in England. A wonderful man, wonderful man. His boys loved him. Must have been a great blow when the parents were killed. What made you ask a question about Lieutenant Smith? Oh, it just came to my mind, that's all. I reckon I'll go. And thanks for all you've done. Goodbye, Colonel. Goodbye. Oh, by the way, that question about Lieutenant Smith. You're sure there's nothing more you want to tell me? Nothing more to tell, Colonel. If they make one false move... All right, fire! You can call out a warning, sir. No use to spill blood. And get killed, all of us? You heard the order. I'll take care of those bodies. Shoot! 
The Indian got away. Get mounted. We're going after him. Keep me covered. So it was you who took that shot of me. You meant to kill me. I'm not that kind of a poor shot, Lieutenant, to miss you when I meant to hit you. You owe me an explanation. I don't think so. Maybe you owe me one. Two dead. Every dead Indian means one less enemy. As far as I know, that's not the Army's way of thinking. It was self-defense. In this country, if a man can't defend himself... There are ways of defending yourself. This isn't one of them, Lieutenant, and you know it. I don't know what's gotten into you. It must be something personal. No. I warn you, if you dare to say another word, I'll... You've got some kind of a kink in your nature. Arrest this man. You'll be shot for this. Not just yet, Lieutenant. I've got a score to settle with you, too. I gave my word to Thundercloud that his warriors would be safe from attack. You broke that promise. I order you to arrest this man! After him! Don't move! The young officer order killing. My life saved because long rifles shoot at officer. I have chance. Escape. You have heard. I promised war if word was broken. Well, I don't want any more close shaves like that. A man's luck will go just so far. You've got to talk to Colonel Courtney. Lieutenant Smith. Say we cause all trouble. You're right. After Lieutenant Smith turns in his report, we'll be lucky if we aren't hanged. <laughs> My neck not like feel a bro. Mine either. Here's what we've got to do. You go to Thundercloud. Tell him the killing of those Indians was not the fault of Colonel Courtney. <laughs> he not believe. I know. Tell him to hold off the war. No more killings until I can talk to Colonel Courtney and put the blame where it belongs. Indians think me fool. Paleface think you fool, too. Maybe, but we've got to try. I go. What Hawkeye say is right. White chief not cause death of Iroquois braves. Was one of his soldiers, same thing. My brother's killed. We killed, too. Would Thundercloud order death of all Iroquois tribe because one brave caused bad medicine to Paleface? No, would not be fault of tribe. And is not fault of Paleface chief because one brave caused bad medicine to Iroquois. Thundercloud is man of great wisdom. Think. Think before going on warpath. Think of what is best for your tribe. Every plan I've made for peace in the territory, halted by this threat of war against us. And all because of a deplorable error, a human error. There's no error, Colonel. The blame is entirely on your side. I could throw you in a dungeon for talk of that kind. I gave Thundercloud my word. I've got a stake in this. I have Lieutenant Smith's report. His version does not bear you out at all. Come in, please. This man denies that you've given the true facts, Lieutenant. Against his testimony is the testimony of four honorable soldiers. Your conduct is nothing less than an act of insubordination at a time of national peril. I have the right to impose a sentence on you. The Colonel wishes to give me an order regarding this man. I'll... The Indian got back. Does the Colonel... Bring him in. Did you see Thundercloud? I speak with Chief Thundercloud. This brave with his brothers, when Lieutenant Smith shoot and kill Iroquois braves. Now he speak. Him like man go crazy. We run, he shoot. Chingachgook, did you persuade this man to come here? Or was he sent here by Thundercloud? Thundercloud send. He want white chief to hear words with own ears, hear truth. Chief Thundercloud very angry like what is in storm. He say, white man no keep promise. He say, Lieutenant Smith, go to camp of Chief Thundercloud. Answer for wrongs. If not go, all Iroquois go on warpath. Kill all white settlers. A 
Lieutenant Smith. Yes, sir. A decision has to be made. I realize that, sir. My duty is plain. To respect the request of Thundercloud, grim and terrible though it may be in its consequence. Have you anything to say in your defense? No, sir. You will leave in the morning. You will not wear your uniform. Hawkeye and Chingachgook will go with you. Yes, sir. There's more to this, Colonel. Yes? The lieutenant's two brothers living at Ainsley. They bear a grudge, a hatred of the Iroquois. They can never forget the killing of their parents. I've been on the frontier a long time, and I, I know what this can do to men. Right or wrong, they hate the Indian. If what you say is true, and if his brothers are found guilty, they'll be placed under arrest. kill some white people, you will pay with life. You do much harm, your people. I don't like this man either for what he has shown himself to be, but still I speak for him. I ask that you spare his life. No. But if you give him his life, it will prove that you're good. The chief soldier at Fort McKenzie will be your brother in friendship forever. You must not ask this of me. Already my braves say, we go on warpath. War, not good for red man or pale face. I ask again, give him his life. I promise he'll do no more harm. Want his word. Give it. Give it. I give it. You leave this land forever. Yes. My people wish revenge for death of our own. But I give my word, because you, Hawkeye, friend of Iroquois, ask. Get mounted, Smith. There we are. Put that gun down, Lieutenant. I don't want to kill you. It's Thundercloud. I want Thundercloud. And don't try and stop me. Time we go. I'll deliver your message to the Colonel and explain to him what happened. Tell him evil spirit that bring trouble to pale face and Indian, gone. Give to pale face, Colonel. Tell him we live in peace. I will. Join us again at this same time next week for another of James Fenimore Cooper's gripping tales of the early American frontier. Another exciting adventure of Hawkeye and his blood brother, Chingachgook, last of the Mohicans.